Yeah, it really is, Joanne. And you can see and feel that heartbreak on the faces of all those who came here to Greater Grace Temple to say a final goodbye to Officer Glenn Doss. If you look behind me here, just outside of the church, you can see all of these police cars, law enforcement from across the country, and of course, right here in Michigan, coming here to celebrate the life of Glenn Doss. Take a look. Earlier before the service began, police stood in formation as his family made their way to Greater Grace Temple. Law enforcement here from Michigan and across the country. 25 year old Glenn Doss was shot in the line of duty while responding to a domestic violence complaint. He died of his injuries on January 28th. He leaves behind so many loved ones, including his fiance and a nine month old baby boy. Officer Doss is being remembered as a humble hero, one who wanted to make the city of Detroit a better place. first day in the hospital and said, I was at the grocery store and at the dry cleaners at both places. The people there said, make sure to tell the mayor our prayers are with Officer Doss. And, and a major part of that uh, impact was the effect that Glenn Doss had on everybody that he touched. Everybody felt the same thing, a humble, hardworking man who got along. And just by speaking to officers who came here, whether they knew Officer Doss or not, time and time again, I kept hearing them say it was so important for them to be here and to let his family know that they are here. They are all part of one big family and that they will be here for them whenever they need. Reporting live in Detroit, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News.